My name is Fadi Malas and I'm the CEO of the Just for Laughing. Just Falafel started in 2007 uh, on Hamdan Street in Abu Dhabi and uh, it started from a very simple idea that uh, uh, was uh, a thought that Muhammad Bitar had initially uh, with his wife uh, Rima Bitar and Ali al uh, a common friend between them. Uh, why, uh, and the question was why has not, hasn't anyone tried to elevate this food category? Uh, which is a national food of a country, which is Egypt, just as much as uh, sushi is the national food of Japan. Uh, and why has no one innovated in this food category, which is probably one of the eldest food of our times? So from the outset, they set out to, to, to roll out uh, a one location on Hamdan Street, and with, with, the, with the vision to innovate from the outset in the menu proposition. So they offered it in a, in, in a traditional way, the, the way that we're used to it, uh, they also introduced an Indian uh, sandwich and they've also introduced a Greek sandwich. Uh, and uh, basically from the outset the idea was to try to, to, to reach a wider audience with this particular food category by doing some innovation in the menu. I think from the outset you will see that uh, Just Falafel is all about innovation and entrepreneurship. And uh, the, the innovation in the menu continued to, uh, to what it's become today. Uh, so we haven't stopped innovating and re-engineering the menu continuously. Uh, we've most recently uh, added the stuffed falafel, uh, three types of stuffed falafel, over and above uh, 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 a dozen uh, kitchens, from the burger to the Italian. So innovation is, is at the core of what we do. Uh, in terms of communication, uh, Just Falafel has also innovated in the way that we communicate our brand uh, and our values and our menus and our openings and our rollouts through primarily digital media. Uh, Just Falafel is the only company in the Gulf region that's had a case study written on it by Facebook themselves. Uh, we take our uh, uh, digital communication very, very seriously. Uh, we have uh, more than 1.7 million fans on Facebook that we continuously communicate with. The strength in, in what we have done in, at Just Falafel is that we have complemented the competition by adding a new food category that was forever neglected. And uh, we have, uh, if anything, uh, given the choice to consumers to a new food category that was uh, almost uh, getting forgotten. So we feel that we have uh, uh, complemented the competition. Uh, and I think today, uh, if you go anywhere and you don't find Falafel as a food proposition, uh, it, I think you will feel that there might be a food gap even. Uh, and uh, today in, in other food categories uh, that have matured uh, really and have become utilities to us, uh, you might find uh, 30 or 40 odd different uh, proposition across the same food category. But when it comes to falafel, there's only uh, one, uh, one uh, real uh, uh, brand that has taken it to a 21st century uh, lifestyle and it's just falafel. Falafel is, 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 uh, is, is, is a protein substitute and it's, an, it's a fully vegetarian meal by birth. Uh, we haven't tried to, to make it into a, what it's not. It's a great uh, protein uh, substitute. It's much faster uh, to digest than any other protein that we consume. Uh, it's extremely healthy uh, and it's a very filling meal uh, as well. Uh, and the price point is, 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 is excellent. And it could, be, it could be had for breakfast, lunch or dinner. I moved uh, to the UAE in 2005-2006, uh, summer of 2005, or, uh, and uh, after many, many years in London. And uh, before that, I, I was educated in, in, in France to get my, my, my uh, schooling in France. Uh, uh, and uh, ever since I've come here, you know, uh, uh, it's been uh, quite a ride because uh, the, the ecosystem and the entrepreneurship in this environment really. Uh, almost uh, pushes you to innovate and pushes you to, to be more daring in, in, in your business ideas because uh, they themselves have, have really uh, come out and, and positioned themselves across uh, the most competitive uh, cities in the world. So we feel that as uh, expats. I think setting up in the UAE and being able 
to uh, uh, show your brand across uh, such a competitive uh, retail space is, 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 is a great uh, test for your brand and in terms of your ability to operate anywhere else. Uh, I think that, uh, you know, I mean, we have the most uh, modern uh, retail experience uh, in, in Dubai than anywhere else in the, in the world and that brings with it uh, competitiveness. So if you are able to uh, compete across the food courts with the, the uh, biggest uh, food uh, retailers in the world that operate more than 40,000 stores, some of them like Subway or, or, or McDonald's with uh, almost 35, 36,000 stores and can still uh, when meals over, uh, it means you have a good proposition. From the outset, uh, there was no business plan, I think, uh, for Just Falafel, uh, certainly at the outset, uh, because uh, this company was built by trial and error. Uh, and uh, whether it's uh, the process, uh, the branding, the communication, uh, everything that we've done in this company is, 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 is proprietary. It is impossible to go and uh, acquire uh, somebody else's processes and adapt it to your food. Uh, you might be able to learn and capture uh, talent from across other brands, but you have to build your own. So uh, this is uh, how it has been for us at Just Falafel. This is a company that we've built uh, in every uh, meaning of the word. There was no market research done. Uh, Falafel before uh, Just Falafel uh, came and, and, and tried to innovate in the menu and offer it in, across many different palettes is, is a food that's uh, known from uh, uh, New York uh, all the way to Tokyo. Uh, so it's not a food category that has just been, uh, that has just popped up, uh, but it's an extremely, extremely fragmented food category. And uh, just like Star Starbucks was, uh, just like Starbucks has, has been the main consolidator of, of coffee, uh, uh, drinkers, what we have been able to do, I think, is try to be the consolidators of falafel consumers. Uh, and this, this is our vision, is to uh, basically take this food category in a very organized way uh, to as many markets as possible. Our consumers uh, consume falafel before us and they will consume it with us, uh, just like you would have a burger in many different uh, spots or you know, uh, pizza, is, uh, you won't have it uh, always in one particular restaurant. And what we've, only, what we've been able to do is just to communicate uh, further and beyond this particular food category in many ways to reach as, as wide an audience as possible that will help us uh, get more people to consume this food category but it will also help everybody else that uh, sells it. Uh, because there was a huge uh, education process. Uh, we, we are very proud uh, at Just Falafel to, to, to claim that many, for many, many of our consumers uh, they've had their first falafel sandwich ever uh, at Just Falafel, uh, which is great, uh, you know, but that means that we have helped uh, every other operator that sells falafel uh, uh, to, to, to communicate it to people and people would want to try it everywhere else they went. The company started with uh, only a handful of people, uh, uh, literally with three partners and uh, uh, and uh, today I think we have uh, almost 40 people at head office, so uh, 10 folds at head office and under the brand we probably have more than 500 people now uh, uh, working the brand and we're adding uh, staff on a daily basis, probably more than one, I would guess, uh, maybe two a day. Uh, so, uh, because we're rolling out stores in different uh, locations. At the outset, uh, our, uh, we built it, yes, by trial and error. Uh, and I think at the outset our objective was primarily to multitask uh, because that's what we could afford to do. And now that we're developing different departments in a, uh, uh, and we know where they need to go and how, uh, we, knew what we, we now know much better what type of skills uh, set we need in every department and that's how we're building it. Uh, there was many challenges and uh, there are still many, many challenges today. Uh, I think the biggest challenge was uh, to, uh, to, to, to have the consumer try this particular food category in, in, in a fashion that they're not used to. Uh, you know, uh, falafel is known in, in, in one particular uh, palette, which is uh, the, the original with uh, uh, tahina sauce and uh, pickles and what have you. 
uh, and uh, we've been able to sell it in, 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 in a burger fashion and uh, in an Italian sandwich and an Indian sandwich and a quesadilla and, and, and most recently we've launched the burrito uh, falafel sandwich so that was a huge challenge for us because um, you know it's, it, it, it was uh, quite innovative uh, another, another very difficult challenge for us was to change the perception of this food category which is primarily uh, 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 perceived as, as, as a street food and uh, to, to elevate it and, 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 and really position it alongside the other food categories, the main food categories in the food courts. So at, at the outset it was extremely challenging to speak to mall operators and, and try to show them the concept and tell them yes it works, uh, we'd like to show it to you, we'd like to be alongside the, the, as much as we are the number one today in, in this particular food category, we want to be alongside the number one in the food courts along their food categories and compete with them. We think it works and, 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 and slowly they started uh, listening to us and believing us and I think now they, they're quite convinced that um, uh, in many ways it does work. Uh, just falafel is, is, is still uh, at its infancy where, uh, uh, in particular uh, if you look at the other leaders in their own food categories. Uh, today at Just Falafel uh, uh, we have uh, ambitious plans to grow the company fast across uh, the globe. Uh, we are extremely uh, uh, able to do that in terms of communication and, and build the interest in our brand because of our ability to communicate through digital uh, like no other. Uh, and uh, so our vision is to really uh, catch up with the other uh, leaders in their own food categories, so we have a long, long way to go before we get there. Uh, so it's, it's going to be a long journey uh, for us and uh, uh, we hope that you enjoy the show. The most important thing for anyone who's, who's looking to start his own venture uh, or launch himself into entrepreneurship is not to listen to any skepticism. Uh, today I think we have an ecosystem uh, second to none, in particular when you, when you live in a city like Dubai, uh, in terms of communication, uh, infrastructure, uh, even uh, global reach. Uh, you can fly anywhere, any day. Uh, so so, so you, have, you have no excuse as an entrepreneur but to launch yourself into your ideas. The most important thing is not to listen to any skepticism and uh, you know, uh, not to be scared to, to make any mistakes. Because uh, unless you make mistakes, you should be worried. So, Go uh, uh, try by trial and error, uh, make uh, the mistakes that you have to at the outset. They're much easier to swallow in the beginning than they would be uh, later on. So uh, just launch yourself into your ideas and, uh, uh, you know, uh, don't worry.